Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at Eve uploaded by Patrick Fanart. So first things first, we go down and take a look at the developer notes, see if he has any print recommendations. And sadly, it looks like there's not too much here, but that's more than fine because we can uh, figure out our settings on our own. So next step is to download all files. And once you do, you're gonna have one simple file, the Eve STL. Nice and easy. Click and hold on it and drag it into your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to render in. Once the model has finished loading in, you should be greeted by this little Eve. So first things first, we're going to select a layer height. I'm going to stick with 0.2 millimeters, but feel free to go finer if you want for better quality. If this page pops up, just click on discard. that will erase all previous print settings. Next, we're going to look at the infill. We're going to set it to 20%, which is standard. Um, yours might already be at 20, but if it isn't, just change this value over to 20%. Next, we're going to look at supports. Now, if you have an average printer with good filament, then you do not need supports for the model. If you do have a lower-end printer or are using poor quality filament, do generate supports. And if you do generate supports, we're going to set our support overhang angle to 60% or 60 degrees, my bad. Next, we're going to go to support and density and we're going to change that to 5%. So we're going to lower the density to make it easier to remove. And finally, we're going to change our support Z distance to 0 0.26 millimeters. And that as well will increase the gap between the model and the support, making it easier to remove. But considering I'm using a pretty good printer with good filament, I will not need support. So I'll take that off. Next, build plate adhesion. There's a good amount of surface area in direct contact with the plate, so you do not need any build plate adhesion. But if you do have trouble with adhesion, I would recommend a brim. You can do that by clicking here and clicking on brim. Like I said, for most printers, you should not need any build plate adhesion. And other than that, you're more than set now. So all I have to do is slice and give it a few seconds to render. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 2 hours and 17 minutes, but that will vary on your printer and the settings you use, as well as a estimated filament usage of 17 grams. Now we always preview the print, see if anything funky is going on, and taking a look, everything looks pretty good, pretty normal. So last step is to send the file over to the printer for printing. Here's the model once basic sanding was performed on the ears to remove small amounts of stringing. The model stands at roughly 7 centimeters tall and has no visual defects. All details are sharp and crisp and the model stands upright by itself. EV turned out to be a very good and easy print.